Here we have for sale our absolutely stunning October 2021 on a 71 plate Ford Ranger Wild Track. This has got the 2 litre bi turbo, 213 brake horsepower Eco Blue diesel engine, and that is accompanied with a 10 speed automatic gearbox. Uh, finished in the fantastic metallic sea grey uh, and clearly not quite standard. What we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you get on a wild track auto of this age. Uh, we'll also talk you through uh, the spec which has of course been uh, added and we'll have a look at the condition as well seeing as this vehicle is currently available for sale at the time of recording. So starting here then at the rear of the vehicle so you can see that all, of course all Rangers come with this lovely tailboard, the wild track uh, you will see this around the vehicle in a number of areas, uh, not least on the tailgate here, of course. In terms of spec, then, at the rear, on the wild track, you get uh, a number of elements which are uh, in this uh, lovely metallic grey. Uh, so, whichever body colour you go for on the wild track, a lot of them, um, as I say, will have this uh, metallic grey colour. And that comes on the bumpers, the mirrors, those sorts of areas. And I'll talk you through that as we go around. So, we can see to start off with here that we have. Uh, reversing sensors. If you look just underneath the badge as well, you do also have a reversing camera. Uh, this one of course has got the tow kit and you can see there that has got the 13 pin electrics. Uh, one of the big benefits of a uh, Ranger is the fantastic towing capacity that they have uh, compared to some of the other pickups, so three and a half ton towing capacity on these. Uh, if you were to compare that to a Ranger Raptor, uh, you get a very similar look to what we're looking at just here, uh, but the Raptor will have a much lower uh, towing capacity. Also then at the rear of the vehicle, the first thing which we can talk about which has been added are these little uh, sort of carbon fibre effect uh, little light guards, which I think really do add quite nicely to the, uh, the overall effect of the vehicle here at the back. And then if we open up the tailgate, so quite a light sort of tailgate on these, um, I, I'm assuming they are sprung slightly, as I say, they do feel very, very light to uh, pull down. And we'll then see my absolute favourite optional extra which you can get on a Ranger, and that is the electric roller shutter. Now there are three ways that the uh, electric roller shutter can be operated. One is on the button here in the uh, back, so if you give that a push, the roller will just go away from you like so. You can press it again to pause it, where you would like and then when you press it for a third time it will then start to return to where you go but as it's moving if you give it a push it will stop where you want but as I say there's three ways that you can uh, use these one is on the button here on the back uh, a second is on the actual key so as you're walking up to the vehicle you can double tap the bottom button on the key and that will start this process and there's also a button on the dashboard as well so if you're uh, driving the vehicle and you're coming to a stop and you're getting out to put something in the back you can press the button on the key and by the time you walk around the back here this shutter is already open. So it's an absolutely fantastic uh, system compared to the uh, sort of normal roller shutter that you get on a Ford Ranger. They can be a little bit clunky. Um, and as I say, this is just such a fantastic system, I think. And as I say, with literally the press of a button, it moves away from you and it's totally out of the way. You can see here then that we have got, of course, the load liner in the back in absolutely perfect condition. This vehicle has really not been used very much as you'll see from the, uh, the mileage, of course, on it. Uh, and all in absolutely fantastic condition. As we then start to move around to the driver's side of the vehicle, then we can start to have a look at some of the styling which has been added here. So first thing to note here, we've got these lovely color-coded wheel arch extenders. Now I just think these uh, really, when you uh, accompany that with the lift kit which is on this vehicle, so to raise the suspension, it just really adds to the sort of meaty and aggressive look to the vehicle. And then we've also got these lovely 20-inch fuel alloy wheels and again all in absolutely perfect order no marks or anything like that on a wild track they come as standard with these lovely side steps and again you can see the decals there for the wild track looking then down the side of the vehicle you can just see uh, in the reflections there just how clean and straight this vehicle is no issues in terms of condition at all you do have keyless entry if you want to so you can press that button when you've got the key in your pocket and we've also got keyless start as well if we open up the driver's door, we can start to have a look at the condition and spec inside here. So again, nice wild track uh, there on the kick plate. And looking inside then, some of these uh, uh, metallic uh, grey elements, like I mentioned with the rear bumper, they continue actually inside as well. So you have that on the door there, and then you've got this lovely black leather with the orange stitch, which you'll see as a theme which continues. Electric windows, 
Over here then we have auto activated lights and you also have auto activated wipers as well. You've got folding mirrors, so that's how those fold by pressing the button there on the dashboard and again you'll see this on the dashboard there, that lovely metallic grey. Looking then at the driver's seat, so not only have you of course got this lovely black leather with the wild track um, embroidered in there with the orange stitching continuing, uh, they are electrically adjustable so you can move these around using the buttons there on the side and then fantastic steering wheel, plenty of capability on here so you've got the buttons at the top here which control the onboard computer so you've got two screens up here uh, either side of the speedometer so you can control everything which is going on up there in front of you and you can change the views that are there you've got your cruise control underneath the right hand side and then you've got your phone controls and your radio controls underneath the left hand side if we jump in we can start to have a look at some of the other spec here this is the button which i mentioned actually just before we do that uh, which controls the roller shutter at the back Looking then into the middle, we can see that we've got this lovely Sync 3 screen. So you do actually have um, App Connect on here, so you have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, of course, you've got all your climate settings on here. If you go into Audio, uh, you can see that we have got, when this uh, wakes up eventually in just a second, you have got DAB Radio on here. Oh, maybe you're going to shut the door, bear with me one second. There we go. You've got satellite navigation, so actually built into the system here. And of course, when you've got your phone connected, of course, you can use that all through uh, there as well. And if we go on to audio, you can see as well that we have got uh, DAB radio on there. If we put the vehicle into reverse, that is where you see then the reverse camera comes up there on the screen in front of you as well. So you can see the little tow hitch down there as well. So it makes it much easier if you are going to be towing. On top of the dashboard then we've got this lovely leather trim dashboard again with the orange stitch in there which just continues nicely. And a feature which I really like is this wild track uh, name there which is just uh, underneath the lacquer in the dashboard. I think that's a really really nice feature. Looking down here then we have the four-wheel drive system. You've got your hill descent and your diff lock down there and further Underneath we've got a couple of USB ports and you've also got your 12 volt sockets there as well Looking at the controls here at the bottom you have the um, uh, Heated seats you've of course got your uh, air conditioning and also your heated windscreen there That's the actual elements in the screen as I mentioned at the start of the video 10 speed um, Automatic gearbox absolutely fantastic uh, feature to have definitely the preferred option you can see that we do have two full keys of course with the vehicle as well and as I mentioned this is where you've got the button there to open up the uh, rear roller shutter if you wanted to um, and then you've got these uh, keys here which you can use to uh, release the spare wheel which is underneath if you look at the uh, bottom right there 3,602 miles recorded so absolutely lovely low miles it's you know like new the vehicle it really is in terms of condition and uh, as I say the mileage is uh, of course exceptionally low as well if we jump out then we could just have a quick look in the uh, in the back as well so if we open up the rear door again you can see this continuation of the lovely uh, black leather with the orange uh, stitching and if you look there into the middle we've got a 12 volt socket and you've also got a 230 volt socket just under there if the camera will uh, look down there for a second you've got a lovely 230 volt socket in the back as well in the middle we've got the center fold down armrest with a couple of cup holders there and also again this lovely stitch in there in the back but just fantastic condition you can see with all the mats it's all absolutely faultless in here Moving then around to the front of the vehicle, you can always tell if it's a, a 2 litre as opposed to a 3.2 because it'll say buy turbo on here. Uh, and again, just having a look at those lovely alloys, those arch extenders, and as I say, side steps. It's absolutely lovely. And then the last thing which has been added here is the very, very nice Ford. This is the Raptor style grille, and it really does change the look of the front end of the vehicle. Looking then here we can see that we've got the LED daytime running lights around the front, very bright headlights on the Ranger Wildtrak and you've got the uh, new and updated uh, front fog lights as well. You can also see that we have got front parking sensors here around the front of the vehicle so it again just makes parking that much easier as well. You can connect this vehicle to the Ford app as well so you can check the fuel status of the vehicle and things like that wherever you are. Again just a lovely feature to have. And then finally looking here down the passenger side of the vehicle again just in terms of condition absolutely nothing to fault here it's in 
really as new condition looking absolutely spot on so just to summarize then it's uh, October 2021 on a 71 plate Ford Ranger Wild Track it's the two liter eco blue diesel engine uh, in this particular model with 213 brake horsepower and that's a company with a 10 speed automatic gearbox so of course you've got the balance of manufacturer's warranty until October 2024 for your full peace of mind uh, lovely spec of course on a wild track as standard so you get things like the sync 3 screen with the uh, apple carplay sat nav you've got reversing camera uh, full leather of course front and rear parking sensors you know a lovely lovely spec on a wild track as standard and of course on this particular one uh, the optional extra from the factory is the electric roller shutter on top of that we've then got the uh, lovely arch uh, extensions which have been added there's the full lift kit uh, throughout the vehicle which just really changes the presence of the vehicle uh, totally uh, and then uh, we've got the 20 inch fuel alloy wheels and of course the raptor style front grille there and then the carbon fiber effect uh, rear light guard so it's just a really really lovely vehicle as i say it's only 3,000 miles on it so fantastic condition throughout and as i say you've got that full peace of mind of the manufacturer's warranty as well if you'd like to inquire on this vehicle, see the full advert, which includes the photography and also, of course, the price. Uh, you can head over to our website, which is listed here, bridgenvans.co.uk, where you will see all of that listed on there. We'll, of course, welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign. We can arrange finance on all of our vehicles, starting as low as 7.9% APR. And we can arrange uh, finance as well for limited companies, if uh, you are going to be buying this through your business, because, of course, it is classed as a uh, commercial, so it's fully... Uh, tax deductible for commercial purposes and uh, we can arrange of course delivery nationwide and take cars or vans in part exchange thank you very much for watching